Are we live? We are, but some people might have commercials. Oh. This right. feels weird. It does, and it, it's a little echoey, and we're very sorry, but yeah. I'm James. And I'm Emily. And we show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, but most importantly, don't forget to get ready. Set. Keto. <laughs> Happy Thursday. All right. Let us know how it sounds because we're in a different location. Yeah. Jackie said we're late. We're late? Daggone. <laughs> it's it's 7 and 1. <laughs> I know. All right. So how bad's the sound? For real. Yeah. For real, for real. Give it to us. The cold truth. Hard truth. We want to know. <laughs> so if everything looks a little bit different, that's because it kind of is. And if it sounds different, we are at home. Yeah, <laughs> we are at home. And we've had a project we've been working on this week. And it has taken a lot of our time. It has. And we're hoping to... So we don't have sound panels yet. So that's why you're going to hear a little bit of an echo. Yes. Sharon said sounds good. Good. I feel like we're echoing a little bit, and it's weird because we're used to being in a big open space in our kitchen, and now we're in an itty-bitty room. <laughs> itty-bitty. How many have we got? 31 watching. All right. Should I show them the room? Um. <laughs> All right. This is about as janky as they get right now. <laughs> so the we don't have sound panels. Well, in a small room that's, it was empty, but now it's not. There's a lot of echo in a very small right. room. At least it sounds different to us. Right. So. Maybe it yes. sounds better. Maybe. Here, let me see. Let me show you real quick. <laughs> let me show you the room. Oh, it's not even completed, but we wanted to go ahead and try it anyway. Are you able to show? Yes. Okay. So, yes, <laughs> we have blankets on the wall. Yeah. Blankets are on the wall, and yes, there is our, <laughs> <laughs> there's lighting. Right. More <laughs> blankets on the wall. We're right. in a small area. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> You're back at me. So, yeah, that's pretty much the size of this room. Look good. <laughs> Crazy. But we needed a ded a dedicated space, right? Right. So, yeah, we remodeled the art room that was here. Yeah, goodbye art and room. Goodbye little gym area that was in the art room. Right. And we painted and tore out and I even put down carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Even put down carpet. Right. Like tore up the old carpet because there was a desk built into the wall. Tore out that desk and then they carpeted around it so then it looked like crap. <laughs> all new carpet, everything. So we just, well, he tore it all out. We went, this was Sunday. Um, we had um, a busy but fun weekend and we got home Sunday and decided to go ahead and start and we emptied out the room all my art supplies got organized and put away and yeah once he tore that desk out and saw the carpet it had to go <laughs> all right let's start 22 q cats here hello hello first, hello she's first one yolanda's yes. here hi yolanda hi mary's mm -hmm. here mary and we get to see Mary. We do get to see Mary this weekend, right? Yes, yes. You're coming to the Ohio meetup. Yeah. Jack I'm excited for. Yeah, Jackie's here. Jennifer Jackie's Lucas here. says, good evening, beautiful people. Good morning. Er, it's not morning. Good evening. We don't know. beautiful Jennifer. We don't have windows down here. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's actually storming outside. Right. It's supposed to rain for like the next two days. Yes. Unfortunately. Taylor is here. Hi, so Taylor. Good evening. Sharon says, sounds good. 22 good. Cat says, sounds the okay. sounds good. Rickwin's here. Says, Happy Hi, Rickwin. 
Uh, Jackie's pulling a double. <laughs> Jackie is Poor pulling girl, a you're going to work double. yourself to death. <laughs> um, Mary said we sound fine. fine yes. Hello, friends. Rebecca's here. <laughs> Hearts made alive. I'm so happy that you made it too. And I don't know what we're supposed to do. Like your ex expectations must be way up here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about things. Mia's Girls 3 says hi. Hi. Sherry's here. Sherry's here. I think I we're going to see your face yes. this weekend too. I'll bet, I bet mm -hmm. we see Sherry. Yes. She's so sweet. <laughs> and Linda. Yep. Hi, yes. Linda. So Rickman said, y'all created a studio? Absolutely. Yes. Because the lives would take about a half hour to set, get everything set up and moved around. Right. And then <coughs> taking it down and... Yes. Not only that, but our last interview with Amanda from mm -hmm. Carnivorous Me. Yes. If you watched it, um, our well, first video off, was bad. Our, our video was bad. And that's really, I think that was an internet issue that night. Right. The way Zoom was. But if you knew how much editing I had to do on our, <laughs> on our sound. Right. And it was actually. Her sound was great. Her sound was absolutely great. Yeah. Our sound was atrocious and it was embarrassing to the point that it was like, okay. Let's what do just, you do? Let's just spend money and do something. But we don't have sound panels yet. Yeah. Sound panels are actually very expensive. Yeah. They're like $50 a piece. Right. So, so we're thinking about making them ourselves. And there we go. I just heard my idea come out of Emily's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> we were talking today about how expensive it would be. So right. It would, it would be like at least four four hundred dollars to do sound panels yeah it's so here. expensive and i said emily there can't be much to them because they're like foam or batting in, a, in like a frame like a right. canvas frame or whatever right. you could do that and wrap them with the colors we want yeah for probably five dollars a piece right and emily's like oh, no, no. <laughs> and then i said i want to hear my idea come out of your mouth it wasn't that i wasn't it on board mm -hmm. it wasn't that i wasn't on board it was the fact that we've been working on this room all week um, I have not gotten yoga in at all this week. Um, I feel like I've been very lax on what I've been eating, where typically I'm mostly meat-based and it's, eggs. It's still been keto. It's just been a few more... More salads, more veggies, more sauces. It's just yeah, it was a, it's, much more lax it's, than it's, I'm normally... Yeah. It's late. Don't feel like cooking. Let's go get a salad. Yeah. And it's just been a long week. Mostly just Sana's being here. busy with this, so. Sana is here. Hi, Sana. <laughs> uh, Sharon says, I'm in the living room with just my computer and no furniture. I'm the one with an echo. <laughs> I'm sure there's an echo, Sharon. Oh, it sounds so great. Like, it's intense on our end. Like, you can really hear your voice coming ar back around. Yeah. <clears throat> it's all right, though. I mean, it was much, much worse when the room was completely empty. Luz is here. Hi, Luz. And Mary says, I think it's excited, exciting to have a designated room. It is. And I still have at least a table where I can get an easel out if I have time to paint. <laughs> but that just has not seemed like the case since just busy schedules. Luz says we look so thin. Ah. Thank you. I don't feel it today. I you know, feel very good. It, my weight training this week has been non-existent because it's been tearing down, carpeting. Oh, the carpeting was a workout in itself. He was sweating. He's like, and that was like, <laughs> yeah, that's probably the last time this year. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. He's weird. He normally never sweats. Doesn't matter how hot it is. Jennifer says, since it's a dedicated space, be sure to claim the space on your taxes yes. next year. Yeah, it's dedicated, all right. There ain't, like, there's hardly any room for the vacuum cleaner to plug in. Yeah, for, yeah, for some reason, this was the room that we keep it plugged yeah. in at. It's eight and a half by eleven and a half room. And yeah. And you think when it's empty, it's like, oh, we're going to have, no, you ain't, there ain't no space. No. <laughs> like, I'm ducking to get under the light. Right. That's all right. I like it, though. Pat says, this is your final Hi. warning. I'm coming to see you. I can't wait to see your face, Pat. <laughs> Hearts is in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and it's pouring oh, rain. I, which way is it coming from? It's coming from the west. I know west. you were watching it's from coming, the west. Yeah, it's kind of from the west. Yeah, it's supposed to be a downpour. It really wasn't something that you could, a storm that you could watch, like, coming in. Mm -hmm. It just, like, showed up. Really? Like, it was planned, though. 
We knew it was coming. I never check. <laughs> Liz is having a lot of rain in Southern California. Yeah, I saw that you guys were having a lot of rain yesterday, too. We had a lot of rain yesterday. Not a lot, a lot, but it was dreary and rainy all day. And 22 QCast mm. says, okay, Emily, how many baby clothes have you re have you already bought? So <laughs> exciting. Every time we go out, there's a new outfit in the cart. Or um, I went Tuesday, mm -hmm. and I picked up little baby mittens with dinosaurs on them. And I picked up little tiny shoes with lions on them. You didn't see those. We went to Costco Sunday morning, <laughs> and she bought size twos and threes. They were so cheap. It was two pair of pajamas. So a two-pack of pajamas. They were Carter's. And they were $2.97. You can't beat that. And the smallest size they had was a 2T. And then I found a 3T, and I'm like, I'm buying them. <laughs> Taylor, I like Nan a good says, deal. Getting ready to rain here. Love the dedicated space. Ah, thank Nan you, Taylor. likes the little room. We're sounding fine. Yay. Thank you, Nan. Uh, Jackie says it's only 6 a.m. to 3.30 a.m. if I make the whole time. Oof. I used to, at, well, at the prison, when I worked at the prison, they would call us at the last minute and say, you're froze to the next shift, and it was an entire eight hours. Yes. And that was rough. It was rough for him, but it was rough not having him come home. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Big Guy's here. Uncle Big Guy's here. <laughs> uh, Camille's here. Says can't stay for the whole live. Wanted to say hi and love you. Hi, Camille. Background. And we're going to do something behind us. We just don't know what yet. Yeah. We'll think of something. As a matter of fact, we don't even know if we'll end up spun around a different way, to be <laughs> honest. I mean, this is probably how it's going to stick. Yeah, because, I think so. Because this works. But it's just really, really, really weird. Yeah. But it's the first time we're in here actually on camera and it's going to be weird so that's all right <laughs> 80 watching yay make sure you hit that thumbs up donna's here I'm hi, say hi emily james and everyone hi donna lisa's here <laughs> lisa we are in our basement in a new dedicated room that we're going to call our studio <laughs> what else would you call it <laughs> slash office Kind of. <laughs> all right. All right. So 22 QCast says, but we're going to miss all the trains, birds, and dogs, and kids if you're in a dedicated studio. You will <laughs> definitely hear the train because we are on the other end of the house. Yeah. And it's actually louder. <laughs> yes. So it's a little closer to the train and you can definitely hear it. And yeah, the birds and dogs. <laughs> we got the door shut outside so that the dogs don't come into this first live <laughs> we, yeah, we're just trying to get everything figured out. That's right. And, and there's blankets hanging on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> Ohio State blankets on the walls and... OH! Yeah, I-O. <laughs> Victoria's here. Finally made it. Victoria! <laughs> hey, Hope. look who it is. Hope is here. It is Hope. We have Hope. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Taylor Ann says, I hear zero echoes with your sound, no echo on this end at all. It's maybe, that is, that's it's, great. it's not you, it's me. <laughs> yeah, we hear it, so <laughs> it's just going to be weird for us. But we're not going to be the ones who wear headphones and everything, just to, no. It's all right. We'll deal with it. Yeah, the main we'll important, figure it out. And Shauna's here. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Shauna. The main thing we wanted to do this is, is because there's been a couple people have mentioned like interviewing and doing things like that. And mm -hmm. We can't show up with sound like that anymore. This whole thing was for audio. If I had my way, we'd put a green screen behind us and have a, our, our kitchen backdrop. I'm <laughs> giggling because he says all this and I don't do any of the technical things. So well, when he says we decided <laughs> because of any kind of audio or everything, anything. Everything goes by. <laughs> She's the boss. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> <laughs> she might not speak up very often, but when she does, I listen. <laughs> if she says no, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you heard it. He said I'm the boss. <laughs> Kathy says, ask heart doctor to order a CAC scan. He did. He's very worried about my cholesterol. Told him triglyceride. Triglycerides were down 200 points. He said trigs aren't that important. He scared me with his lecture. Oh, oh no. no. Well, <sighs> you're going to have to choose what to believe 
right and what to listen to right and there's nothing that I can say or do and when I, I went in the I, I went into the hospital with a I basically had a pinched nerve in the back of my neck mm -hmm. and it was causing me pain up here right and so I went to the chiropractor and they wouldn't touch me they wanted right. nothing they sent they, him to the hospital yeah right to the hospital <clears throat> and it was at that point I had to question everything I've been doing, even losing almost 100 pounds at that point. Right. So, for me, mm -hmm. I know that being down 107 pounds mm -hmm. has got to be healthier than sitting and worried about every little number and following all different doctors. But, you know. Right. And it's going to depend on the doctor. Um, like my doctor after my lab work when I was in his office said, you know, go ahead and keep doing what you're doing, but make sure you get some vegetables in is what he told me. I think he thought keto was carnivore. Um, and was like, you do need some vegetables. And I'm like, it's okay. But then after my blood work results, he's like, I would actually, he sent a message. It wasn't even to my face, a message suggesting the Mediterranean diet. <laughs> so every doctor will tell you to cut out sugar. Mm -hmm. Cut out sugar. And, you know, the thing is, is and processed food. They say cut out sugar and processed food. And eat less and move more. <laughs> yes. And then when you do that, you cut out sugar and processed food. Train. Train. <laughs> and then and you say keto. They're like, oh, that's bad. But it's like, but that, right. that's what you told me to do. Right. So there's, you know, if you think about it, mm -hmm. the foods that they tell you that are carby, mm -hmm. that's the foods that they tell you to eliminate. They tell right. you to eliminate starch and eliminate this and eliminate that. Right. And when you do, but you call it something else, they don't like it. They, yeah, they definitely don't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of doctors are going to say things like that so it's kind Rick, of scary Rickman says several storms coming across tomorrow Oof. bad for the Ohio Valley and yeah, that's where we are yeah <laughs> Taylor says oh our school's already canceled tomorrow for wow. flooding and it hasn't started yet but it probably will flood some oh no and yeah I think she's kind of close to us yeah flooding's not good <laughs> Yeah, you know, Roxanne says Costco has great prices there, on clothes. Yes, it was so it was such a good deal. And then, yeah, I think I'll probably pick up something every time I'm at the store. Blank says I spy pumpkins. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I totally want to. <laughs> Shauna says you made a room. I'm so far behind. Yeah. And Lisa said buy diapers whenever you're out. You know, I have not done that yet, and I need to. I do need to do that because they're going to need diapers. <laughs> Kathy said... I just can't wait for the little squishy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Kathy said, he said, whether my calcium score came back as zero or a lot, I still need to be on cholesterol medicine, but I didn't get one. Wow. That is, everyone has to do what they do. Right. I would not, after what I know, I would not get mm -hmm. any cholesterol meds. Right. And it's, you're going to continuously, you know reevaluate and change and you need to go by your own research i think personally uncle big guy says <laughs> who is your the little birdie friend behind you <laughs> okay so this little dirty birdie is a penguin yeah and it's like the first thing that emily got me when we started dating because yeah. i like penguins and it's a little <laughs> beanie baby and it was just here and i just figured until we decide what we're doing that he can go right there <laughs> And now I'm a little OCD, so it's got to be centered. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Holly says, or Hope says she loves you, too. Oh. Um, Brook Acres. Lots Hello. of people here. 85, yeah. 85 people here. Connie here from South Carolina. Uh, and it ain't raining there. <laughs> Scott's here. How do y'all? Lisa said we don't have basements in Austin. That fascinates me. I wonder why. I know. I was thinking the same thing. Do they have them in Florida? I, I don't know. It seems like places that's hot would really benefit from a basement. Because they're cool. There's probably a reason for it. 
They're cooler. Yeah. Scott J is here. Howdy. Um, yeah, Sana says everyone yes. be safe. It's getting be storms. Safe. Like, I hope we don't have flooding. I hope you guys don't have flooding wherever you're at, too. We're supposed to get like four inches of rain in the next two days. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> Uh, Hart says my husband is giggling behind me from the <laughs> she's the boss comment. Because he knows. <laughs> yeah, so she don't she don't speak up very much. It's not one of them things. Like, I, I usually, like, do a lot of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then every now and then she says no. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay. I'm a pretty easygoing person. I'd be like, let's go to Costco. Okay, let's go skydiving. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm usually up for anything, but... Scott says doctors are not gods. That is right. 100% right, Scott. Hope's got to go catch the replay. Have fun, Hope. I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, Blake says mommies always appreciate the larger size clothes. When transition happens, you got something on hand. The babies grow fast. They, they do. They do. Uh, my, my suggestion would be yeah. don't buy newborn tennis shoes. I did. You did? Yes. He'll never wear them. But they have little lions on them. He'll never wear them. <laughs> uh, Bob is here. Bob's here. <laughs> Running late as usual. Pastor gave me a lot of things to get done for the men's conference tomorrow. More hands mean less work. And he think, needed help. And Bob's coming to this area next week. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Lisa says, chaffles are so filling. I think I might need a nap after three of them. Lisa, yesterday I told James that we have not had the chaffle waffles, and we need them. It's been a while. It has. It's been a couple weeks, I think. Yeah, a couple weeks. But they're really, really good. Sharon's here. She made Hi, a lot. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> I hope your husband's doing okay. I hope he's feeling a little bit better now. Twin Brooke Acres is here. Lady Fritzer says cholesterol is our friend. Yeah. And... Bob says to never, ever take a statin. Yeah. Well, I can't say that I've ever really, I mean, I, I know what I hear mm -hmm. from the doctors that we follow. Right. And about the statins. And mm -hmm. so I know right off the, you know, right, right off, off the, the rip, rip, my first answer would definitely be no. Other than that, I don't know a whole lot about them because my cholesterol is not high. Mm -hmm. Emily's is not high. Mm -hmm. So I guess that would have to be a decision to be made if it ever comes up. But yeah. right now, my initial first answer would ultimately be no. And hopefully I have time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, I was just having a conversation with a girl at work because she went to the doctor and her cholesterol was high <clears throat> and they want her to... Um, change her diet and we always talk about our diets mm -hmm. um, because she's leery of keto or low carb or anything of the sorts um, but she always asks questions and today she told me that she has cut back on carbs um, she said I'm not doing keto but I am cutting back on carbs and I said you know if you think about it and think about that you're normal or normal standard American diet and the amount of carbs and breads and pastas and if you're eating candy or soda or any, having anything like that every day on a daily basis, think about how many carbs you're eating and consuming in one day. So if even if you're down to 50, 60 carbs a day, that's still so an improvement. Much, yeah, so much less than what, you know, right. it was before. Right. Like I said, she's super leery of doing keto um, completely, but it's still baby steps. <laughs> Sana used to buy diapers when on sale with coupons and had so many different sizes stocked up in an empty closet at our house. Yeah, Overland I need memories. to start on that. <laughs> Joyce is here from Overland Park, Kansas. Kansas. Hi, Miss Joyce. <laughs> Jennifer loves penguins and owls. Yeah. I'm a lion and tiger kind of girl. <laughs> Sharon says zero in Florida, no basements there. Really? I wonder if it's got like the sand. It's got, a, yeah, something, something to do soil. with the, the ground. <laughs> Sana says no basements in Florida, you'll hit water. Oh yeah, that too. I want to move to Florida. <laughs> I don't care. We'll take this little studio with us. This, right, just take it with is, us. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, Shauna says we Makes don't sense. have a lot of basements here in California, mostly because of earthquakes. Yeah. That seems like it would be a safe place to be. And hmm. an earthquake? Well, and tornadoes, you know, like, you, you go to the basement. So you automatically assume. I just assume. You associate. Yes, you hide. <laughs> you Any, hide. Anything bad that happens, you just run and hide. <laughs> <laughs> just hide from it. Uh, MG3919 has chukros. our chuck roast in I the love oven. Chuck roast. And chuck roast is on sale this week. We need to get a couple. I saw that. I swung by Kroger yesterday, or our local grocery store, I should say, because they had ground beef on sale. So we always have to buy it when it's on sale. Heart says Florida groundwater is one shovel full down in the basements. That's interesting. Yeah. I guess we never really thought about it because we were both born and raised here. You wouldn't have to dig far for a well. Yeah. <laughs> you just put a pump in the ground. <laughs> Bob says, get rid of that Ohio rain. You have three days. It's yeah. raining when I arrive. I'll be grumpy. Right. Bob, Bob, you've had the worst winter in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have been in Nebraska. <laughs> Uh, Chantel says we're below sea level, so ah. we can't have basements. Wow, that's so crazy. What did I do? I just never thought of that. Hey, hookah's here. Hookah's here. <laughs> heart emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> yes, hookah, we are yeah. in a new location. We are. My old, now old art studio is gone. My old gym. Is gone. My, no, it's not. It's in the garage now. <laughs> it's in the garage, and I was actually using it for a few minutes before we started that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Sharon says, is, yes. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. Bob says, took statins for eight years, and I am stupid compared to what I used to be. <laughs> I guess it messes with your brain. I have heard Bob say something about that. Really? Place. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Lucas says there's more reports circulating about risk of low HDL. They don't know anything. No, no, none of them know any, reports. anything. <laughs> Look, before I even cared about what I threw in my mouth, there's mm -hmm. one thing I did know. Yeah. One week they'd say the whites of the egg are good for you. Mm -hmm. And the next week they said the yolks are good for you. Right. They still don't know. Give it time, give it a year, and they'll change it again. And you know what? Just as soon as they talk everyone out of the way that we eat, uh -huh. they'll say, you should be eating keto. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. Just like stocks. When everyone sells and runs, that's when you buy all of them. Right. And when everyone's buying and telling you, buy this, Here buy we this, go. buy this, <laughs> sell it all because it's about to crash. That's his other hobby. It's my hobby. Yeah. His other hobby is stocks. Twin so. Brook Acres says my cholesterol has come down considerably on keto. Triglycerides are 58 now. My cholest cholesterol was low before keto, and now it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Mine was uh, high before keto, and now it is no longer high. My LDL is a little high, mm -hmm. but my HDL is high, and my total cholesterol is actually normal. Right. Mine's on the higher end of normal, yeah. but still normal. Yeah. My triglycerides normal. are way down. My total cholesterol is <laughs> great. So I don't know. Right. And if they say anything about it, I'll stop going. Yeah, he'll change doctors. <laughs> I won't go to the doctor no more. <laughs> That's why I have to do get so much dental work done now, because they hurt me one time. <laughs> I was done. I'm one that I get my physical every year, and I love getting my teeth cleaned. So, Lynn yeah. says, getting blood work done tomorrow. Fine, fine, fine. Bob <laughs> says, never had penguin. It's it's plenty fatty. Or more lean. Is it, is it plenty fatty or more lean? <laughs> I would say... I would say it would be lean. I would say it would be fatty. It'd be... Because they're in a cold weather environment. Uh-huh. And, you know, like, it would definitely be greasy. <laughs> I definitely think it would be greasy, like duck. <laughs> I'm not one who's wanting to try, <laughs> to try to find out. <laughs> Roxanne says, I, I don't, I know I don't want to take statins, but I have high cholesterol. And I was told by my eye doctor that I have a circular thing around my eye that is a sign of high cholesterol. I I've have never, never heard of I've this. I've never heard of this either. I never have either. Mm -hmm. Sharon said, come on down. Oh, yes. I want to go to Florida. We got to go. So next week I have to work a night shift all week. Um, 
another supervisor there is going to Florida Saturday for spring break. And I get to suffer. <laughs> Worth the night shift. Lady Fritzer says they have basements in the north because they have to dig deep for the foundations due to the frost line. Okay. There you go. So I guess there's no frost. I'm not there. very smart, apparently. <laughs> Roxanne's in Seattle. But thank you for that. Basements in the older homes. They don't build them anymore. Hmm. There's, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hide in a basement, Shauna said, for an earthquake. <laughs> you'll, you'll get, get buried. buried. That's why I didn't understand why you would say that. John <laughs> says basements in New England are moldy. Oh. Well, we just put an air purifier in, or air, uh, uh, not a purifier. A dehumidifier. Dehumidifier. Yeah. And the first day it didn't really, but now it's really humid out right now and it's been running constantly. Yeah. Except for now, I turned it off so we could. Right. So we could talk. <laughs> Jackie says if my cholesterol hasn't evened out by next appointment, I'm sure statins will be on the docs list. Ugh. Even though I'm down 65 pounds, minimal migraines, plantar fasciitis, depression, and inflammation are all gone. Yeah. We'll just don't go. <laughs> don't listen to me I'm bad <laughs> you know when I used to hurt like my knees would hurt or anything would hurt uh -huh. this was way before keto a couple years Emily would be like well, why don't you go to the doctor I said because I can save my copay just tell myself I'm fat and move on and because if my knees hurt they said I was overweight everything was because of my weight yeah everything so I just save look in the mirror I was fat right save the copay <laughs> And he really, I mean, when he was hurting, I knew he was hurting if he was willing to go to the doctor. And I think he went maybe, what, two times? And the both times they said I had really He needed to lose weight. Arthritis, and it was because of weight loss. or Being uh, overweight. Being overweight. Yeah. So, yeah, I just started saving my... So he just stopped. He's like, I'm not going anymore. I'll go to the doctor if it's an emergency. Now, I will yeah. get all my labs checked at my work every year. They pay me. Mm -hmm. They pay me to do it. To right. Get the, uh, he would do that. The blood work done. But, yeah, Jackie, <clears throat> hopefully it gets better, though, so they don't bring that S word up. <laughs> Bob says nutritional science is not real science, but that's changing. There are over 400 keto carnivore low-carb-based studies currently going. It's awesome. And you know what? I don't know if they'll ever really try to tell you the truth because... They don't want people to live long. Maybe. They just, they just want your tax money. and. This is just his opinion. Yeah. He don't conspiracy. know Conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. You don't know nothing. <laughs> well, why else would they tell you that soybean oil is healthy? Um, go ahead and read John's comment right there. John says, when the drug companies want more sales, they will drop the level of LDL and push it on their customers. Oops, I mean patients. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he also said, Bob, you had... Have you, you had, had moose, moose meat? meat. <laughs> a got friend of mine got a moose up in Maine a couple years back. That is something I've never had. <laughs> Lisa says, I couldn't eat penguins. No, I couldn't either. I love penguins. I think they're awesome. Love them. Bob says, everything I've read from things I mostly trust say 220 to 250 total cholesterol is a sweet spot. Any lower than 220 in the instance of all cause... Mortality goes yeah. up. There you go. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's my phone. Huh. I was like, what is that noise? It's an Amber Alert. Okay. That, <laughs> they can't keep... Don't ever name your kid Amber. <laughs> Don't ever name your kid Amber. They're always missing. <laughs> Oh, he thinks he's funny. <laughs> Lynn wants to know what your job is. I am, I work for a trucking company, and I am a supervisor there over some drivers, and I essentially dispatch them and give them work and tell them what to do. I babysit men. <laughs> that is what I do. Um, yeah. Shauna says, Emily, welcome to the night crew. She's yeah. not working that late. Yeah, not that late, it's more thankfully. Of a, yeah, it's more of a she'll be home like eight-ish. Yeah, hopefully. John says, keep <laughs> the humidity under 
to prevent mold. Yes, yes. we actually have it <laughs> set at what, 35? It was at 35, I bumped it up to 40. Mm -hmm. Just because everything I, everything I read said 30 to 50%, so I figured 40 was the sweet spot. Yeah. It's pretty neat how, how it works though, I thought. Bob won't live in a house with no basement. Put your bedroom downstairs in the summer and upstairs in the winter to save on heating and cooling. <laughs> and Bob, you can get up and down the stairs now. Smart. Very smart, Bob. <laughs> Hookah says 90 watching. Yay! Yep, 87. Uh, Taylor Ann says, Doctor put me on a statin uh, for being five points above uh, normal. I even refused it, and he wouldn't listen. So, I got a new doctor. Exactly. Didn't pick up the meds. Exactly. That's exactly what I would do. Mary says, having people healthy doesn't make money. Yep. True. Very true. Jennifer Lucas says, air raid. Yes. <laughs> that, I was like, what is that? I didn't realize that your phone was over there. Is it over there? My phone's right here. Oh, why was it making that noise here? It sounded like it was coming. Uh, yeah. Echo. Never mind. Yeah. That's the echo for you. <laughs> Lynn says the FDA just approved oh. fake chicken. Wonder what kind of wonky ingredients are in it. Okay. Speaking of chicken, this is totally off subject of this. I'm sorry, Lynn. But I, as you know, I'm not a big fan of chicken. But I had a recipe I've been holding on to for months that my brother Nathan had sent to me and it was for um, chicken tikka masala and I've been wanting to make it really really bad and I had a hard time finding graham masala uh, and I just found it a couple weeks ago and so again still holding on to it because I didn't have any yogurt for the recipe and I picked that up yesterday and marinated my chicken overnight and I made that today with rice cauliflower and James kind of was eh because he was never a huge fan of Indian food um whereas I was and what'd you think of it it was amazing <laughs> I ain't gonna lie I was definitely against the idea when she first told me she was making chicken marsala I said so I guess I'm having burgers yeah that's exactly what he said I said well you can grill some burgers because we can always have burgers in the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. But he liked it a ton. I did. I went back for more. Yeah. It was really good. Really easy. I posted the link for the recipe on our Facebook group page with a picture, which it's not the prettiest of pictures because it's a very... It's a kind of a bland looking Yeah, the color. Dish. There's no colors to it. Um, so it looks very bland, but it's not bland tasting. It's really, really good. Just put some chives on top. It'll look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> What'd Bob say? Um, as we, as we used to say when pulling an empty trailer, got a load of dispatcher, load of dispatcher brains. I know. My drivers get so mad at me when I'm like, can't you just go over there and do this before you do this? And they're like. It's kind of far. I'm like, it doesn't look that far to me. <laughs> it's only like this far away. For every stupid dispatcher, there's an even stupider boss above them telling them to be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Hearts, True story. Yeah. Hearts was a dispatcher for 15 years. I babysit men as well. Always said that. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, I'm going to try that recipe. I just printed it. I had it printed in my purse for months, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't wait as long as I did because it is so good. So I don't even normally like Indian food, but this here, I don't know if it, it's just been... So long yeah, since you've had. Yeah, so long, but that, like, as soon as I tasted it, I was like, all right, and put on the uh, Hungry Heath Five Spice. That's what I did. It yeah. Was amazing. Yeah. You'll definitely want to up the spice if... You're into spicy, so. Uh, Jackie says, looks like Jim and I are staying with you on BBB and E. Yay. Might be hitting That's 124 so crazy. days. Cinco de Mayo would be the last day unless he hits 199 I'm first. looking forward to BBB and E, which in case you guys don't know, we are doing that for the month of April. We are. And I love the simplicity about it. You know what's bad? You know what's totally bad about it? What? 
So, you know, I was, my stomach was upset and everything during that time when I was like, oh, let's do bbb and e with Carnivore Quest. Right. Well, now it's not upset no more. And I regret it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, it'd be good. That'd be like the last cut down to bathing suit <laughs> for the cruise. Right. <laughs> oh, who could post oh, it on our, our Facebook group? Thank you very much. Thank you, Hookah. Hookah, I want to say thank you so, so much to you. You are so sweet, and I don't know if you care if I say why, but you know why. And James sent you an email, and he's like, call Emily. <laughs> I'm like, why would you send that? That okay. sounds so mean. Okay, so Emily got a present from Hookah, which mm -hmm. is Hyla. Yes. And, yes, she was like, I don't know how I should contact her. Because I her, wanted to say thank to, you. To tell her thank you. And I, that's, I, I sent the email back, and I was like, call Emily. And then she's like, that's what you said? I'm like, so then I sent another email. I'm like, you know, I'm really not good with words. Call Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her a number. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, boy. I really don't talk a whole lot when I'm not here. When Yeah, when he's not on camera, he's pretty quiet. <laughs> not a true statement. So, Sana says, my father is from India. Uh, Yummy. I love Indian food. Yum. MG3919 says, I took 10 pounds of ground beef, made... Half pound, pound burgers. Yep. Eating three of those every night this week. Omad. That is probably going to be what we mostly eat is ground beef just about every day on BBB and E. But I want to make poached eggs. This I'm is gonna... this is gonna make Emily so happy. We what? have hard boiled Heather. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> we have hard boiled your name. Heather. <laughs> I eat ground moose with over easy eggs on top almost every day with Redmond smoke salt. Is moose comparable to ground beef? It might sound like a dumb question, but I really don't know. I don't either. I've never, I've never seen a moose. In person. <laughs> yeah, we don't have them here. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I think they're pretty. Have you ever seen one? I have a picture of one in our... Well, there in you our go. living room. <laughs> we'll snack on that one later. Right. I'm just curious whether it would be comparable to. Lynn says I dispatched two and did oversized permits. Yeah, I mine's mostly city, city work. Taylor Ann says I bet the chicken was awesome. Just bought a huge ball of is garam that it? masala is at Jungle Gyms last week. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't in the mood for chicken, so I got some paneer, which is Indian cheese, and mm, it was. That would be really good with great. it, too. Is that exactly the spice that you have? Yes, and I had a hard time finding that spice. I went to three different stores fi to find it. That's because instead of going to Jungle Gyms and looking yeah, for it. Yeah, I went it, to other stores. She's going to Walmart looking for it. And yeah, I don't they think didn't you're have it. find it there, unless you yeah. order it maybe online. Yeah. Um, Shauna says, I cry when I hear Indian food. Had some with friends who are Indian, so I could try. First time, their mom accidentally double spiced oh, it. Boy. I was trying to be nice and eat it. Oh, boy. <laughs> and uh, two crazy ketos are hello. here. Hello. And I think they're coming up after at us at 8.30. Yes. Well, not directly after us, but they're after us. Yeah. We'll be watching. We will. Or at least listening, right? Yes. <laughs> Noah's here. Noah's here. Hello, everyone. Uh -huh. Jennifer, Hi, Noah. Jennifer says, I'm allergic to Texas Five Spice. I break out in flames. In flames. I use very little of the, of the Texas Five Spice, little. but James puts that stuff on everything. All honesty, if Heath and Shelly are listening, that stuff needs to be in stores because it's amazing. It really does. He really honestly puts it on everything. Everything. Yeah. If I tell him it's spicy already, he'll be like, Texas Five Spice. Uh, Hart says, when is the cruise? We are leaving. First week in June. Yeah, it's June 4th. We are leaving on the 2nd. It's June 4th through the 11th. Yeah. And we can't wait. Cannot wait. Because okay. Emily's going to swim with dolphins. So are you. I, apparently I'm going to. I booked it for him too. I'm gonna I've it. never done that. That's on my bucket list of something that I've never done that I want to do. And <laughs> when I told Noah about it and I told him about a lot of the other things, 
that was the one thing he's like, Mom, we got to swim with dolphins. <laughs> and then apparently we're going to do the sloth thing. We're going to hold a sloth. Which maybe. you love sloths. I love sloths. That's his other favorite animal. I'm not scared of them. I can outrun them. <laughs> <laughs> Hookah, check, check your spam. It might be in there. All right. They're saying no, hookah said no sound. And then Lady Fritzer says, I got sound. I got sound. Is the sound okay? I don't know. I can outrun them. Yep. <laughs> oh. Sounds good on this end. <laughs> oh, there's Sherry. Sherry. Just Hi, joining. Sherry. Had to finish eating my delicious air fried ribeye with butter. We are not good at air frying meat. No. We're really not. No. I don't know why. We've only tried it once and... It was kind of a fail. Fail. Yeah. Well, no, it's been it tried a couple good. times. Like, we can air fry burgers and things like that, but, like, steak? Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're doing wrong. We need Shauna <laughs> to make a video and teach us. I know. Us. I know. Um, MG3919, have they decided on a name? Not yet. They have a couple that they like, but they're not really stuck on a name. I know the names that they were thinking of were Liam... James. And Xavier. James. So, that can change. <laughs> <laughs> both both of my boys. Austin Aust and Yeah, Noah. Austin and Noah have the middle name James. Yeah. And I always joke, and this was no joke. If Noah... Was a girl. Was a girl. He got to pick the middle name, and I got to pick the first name. Either way. And it was going to be James. Because, because, yeah, he wanted James to be the middle name, no matter what. <laughs> even if it was a girl. Yeah. I know it sounds stupid, but I like it. And it goes with everything. <laughs> everything. Uh, Hardboiled Heather says, Moose tastes so much better than ground beef. Oh. I'm in Alaska, and we got one off the roadkill list. Really? That's so interesting. I imagine how much meat would be on a moose. I know. I would try it. We could eat on that for at least a week. And then they have a roadkill list. I've never heard that either. Uh, Sharon says, thinking definitely going to jump in there on April 1st and try out that BBB and E. Yeah. You should. Yeah. It's it, going to be fun. It's really exciting in the beginning. Uh-huh. But it gets um, repetitive. <laughs> it gets definitely repetitive to the <laughs> point that, like, that's why I say I don't know if I'm going to be able to do OMAD. Yeah. One meal a day on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs because sometimes you just yeah you I, just eat a few bites and it's like ugh. yeah. This week I've mostly pretty much been eating two meals a day just because. And Hila was talking about this in her video from yesterday, Crafty and Carnivores, um, about eating when she's hungry, and I know Hope was talking about it too on Mission Keto, and so that's just what I've been doing this week. I went, ran up to the gas station today at work and picked up beef roller hot dogs. I don't know if they're actually all beef, but the hot dogs. And you can buy a little two-pack two of hard-boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. I need to just bring food with me. I didn't, so I <laughs> figured that would be cheap and easy and super quick. Uh, Lady Fritzer had slow-roasted pork belly. Yeah. We haven't had that in a while. Yeah, I like pork belly. <laughs> Lori, good morning from the Philippines. Hello. Miriam. Miriam's Hello, here. lovely. Uh, hookah still can't hear. <laughs> oh, no. Marbear. Q-tip. In for bbb and &E challenge next month. I'm looking forward to it. We haven't done a challenge in a little, in a hot minute. We have not done a challenge in a hot minute. We definitely haven't. And well, we did, I'm ready. we did the one meal a day in February. Yeah, but I was already doing a small eating window, so that didn't really feel hard. You know? Yeah. So, Jazz Puppy's here. Wish I could get here when you oh, all start. Oh, it's all right. We're sorry. Life's busy. Life's hard. It is. I was just telling her. I've been having such a horrible time with doing all, try, you know, do, making this room. Right. Our schedule's then, just been messed up. Yeah, and then trying to it's like then all of a sudden it's dinner or dinner is late and then it's like emily's like at 9 45 or 10 o'clock i'm going to bed and it's like i didn't work out 
But I really did work out because I felt like I was tired. So I had right. to have done something. Yeah. What is it called? Functional? Functional exercise? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. It all makes sense. Yeah. Just been busy. MG, and I like my sleep. <laughs> MG3919 says just had our house built. It has a basement in, in South, South Carolina. In South Carolina. Hey. R.A. Raffionello. Hookah says she had to get out and come back. Ah, I'm sorry. Well, you missed all the good stuff we were talking about you. I talked so much crap about you. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> Holly loves the Texas Spice Spice. Yes. Holly, are you going to... Um, the cruise? I know she's going on the cruise. You're still going on the cruise, right? And then... Maybe Keto Palooza? Keto Palooza is what I was thinking. Low carb mm -hmm. cruise in 72 days and 13 hours. Oh, it's it's coming soon. And just think that was like two minutes ago. We're even closer now. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Bye, Sana. Bye, Sana. Uh, Jennifer Lucas is going to hold baby sloths, too. They're so cute. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Luca says check spam and couldn't find an email. He probably sent it to someone else. What is with our mail? <laughs> Back in the Christmas, at Christmas, I remember you saying that you sent a Christmas card and we never received it. And then I send you an email and you don't get it. <laughs> <sighs> Roxanne says our son's graduated from college on June 10th and uh, then going on a cruise to Alaska. Congratulations. That's going to be fun. I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Shauna needs tutoring and editing. Still working out video things. Sorry, shaking my head. I understand, Shauna. I still wouldn't know what to do either. You know, there is a really big learning curve. Yeah. They're train. Real, train. Again. Yeah, sorry. Um, Shauna says hi. No issues. No issues with sticks in the air fryer either. So it's just us. Yes. <laughs> Carnivore, Carnivore Kip. Kip is here. What's <laughs> up, my peeps? Meat was made for the smoker, grill, or cast iron skillet. <laughs> it definitely I, was, but in a pinch. Yeah. Anything will do. I think air fryers are all different, too. And um, I, so it could, it's probably an operator error. We, I'm used, not to, we lie. used to have a, a round one. Mm -hmm. With the basket. It seemed like it, I, I kind of like the way that cooked better. Mm hmm. But it was so small, and now we have a bigger rectangle one. Like an little, oven. Like a little oven. So you can bake, air fry. And it just seems to cook a little different. Yeah, it's probably not as good. And Jazz Puppy says love air frying her steak, too. Lori says air fryer tip. Try using a raised stainless steel rack and take out the rack that comes with it. Much better airflow. Yeah, ours has it. A raised stainless steel rack. Right. I mean, ours has a rack. <laughs> it's like a tray. There's the name. Jennifer Lucas says Everett for a boy. Everett James. Oh, I like that name too. I wish I wish they would let me name him. Uh, there's John. <laughs> John. John <here>. Guggenheim. <laughs> I understand. He lost track but of time. It's been a busy week. I get it. Melanie says moose, moose is, is great. great. I feel like we're the only ones here that have not had I moose. I know. I feel like everyone's like, you've never had moose. What? <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> John's going back to watch the replay Aww. now. Shauna's brother's middle name is James. We had grandfathers on both sides who were James. James worked out. Yes. <laughs> it goes with everything. Tell you me a name and I'll tell I you. I know. I know. Jennifer Lucas found pork loin for $1.88 a pound. Of course, about 25 pounds. We would totally do that to Jennifer and not be sorry about it. <laughs> We don't eat a whole lot of pork. Not by my choice. I you? love pork. I like pork belly. I like bacon. I like pork loin. I like I pork bet, shoulder. I bet I would like, like pulled pork, pork, pork tenderloins, masala. pork chops. Well, that would be good. Pork masala. It would be good. <laughs> it would uh, be good. Heart says, are you doing BBB and E on the cruise? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> because... I could totally see it being easy to do, though, because you would have everything readily available to you. Yes. It would be. But you also have everything readily available that's not BBB. I, I want seafood on the cruise. That's my big, yes. my big go-to is going to be any seafood. And I want salad. Yeah. Does this scare you that we're going to be gone for 11 days? 
No. It doesn't? No. Noah's already scared a little bit about being gone for 11 days. Do you want to tell them what you can't do on vacation? Oh. <laughs> oh. No. I have problems when I'm out of town. <laughs> if I'm not at home. If she's not at home, she can't poop. So we're going to go 11 days. We'll see what happens. I never thought of that. If you see, Yeah, and this is the longest we've ever been gone, too. This is going to be the longest. So, like, after, like, five or six I'm gonna days. I'm going to have to bring magnesium supplements. <laughs> well, you should bring them anyway. I know, but extra. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be funny. Because Emily, no, not literally, funny. we could drive for on vacation for a week and come back, and she'll just be like, man, I've had the poop so bad. <laughs> I can't hold mine for 10 minutes. I don't hold it. <laughs> I get very uncomfortable. I cannot. I just can't. I don't know. I know I'm not the only one who's like that. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Emily's going Emily's to be red like the last couple of days of vacation of the cruise. You'll see Emily be like, is something wrong? Nope. She just can't poop. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry if that was TMI. <laughs> <laughs> Hookah said no cute too. <laughs> uh, Hookah says she had to get out of the live and reopen the browser uh, and get back on. <laughs> Carnivore Kip, if you have not checked his channel out, he is booming, man. He is booming. He is booming. He His channel has blown up. <laughs> uh, Shauna says I'm having some kind of leftover roast I made a couple days ago. Want to reheat in foil pocket with juices. We've made all kinds of different things this week like this and yesterday um, we hadn't had the meat lasagna in a while James made that and that was really good one Just... piece one piece totally full <laughs> I was totally stuffed I wasn't too stuffed to have a little bit of keto brick with it um I don't know Sherry says prayers for right oh. and left brain carnivorous me on the loss of their fur baby Oh, that's sad. Yes, Very prayers, sad. prayers for them for sure. That is so sad. I totally missed that. Then I didn't see. I didn't either. Mm -mm. I haven't seen that at all. Uh, Mickey says, "Loving the RSK Aww. family, y'all are great. Thank you. You're great, and we love you too." Uh, Luz is joining the BBB. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm really excited over it this time. I am having coffee. Just to be clear and put that out there, I am having coffee during BBB and E. Um, I just, I just can't. I don't. I'm gonna join Get Black, but coffee definitely. Sherry's been BBB and E since January second with coffee. Guess I'll keep on with it in April and Oof. no coffee to make it interesting. Oof. Good luck to you. Yeah, do you, you can do it though. I'm sure I could do it if I really made myself, but I would. Probably not be the best person to be around. I don't consider coffee anything. I don't there's there's all these people that say oh coffee's bad and the, I don't yeah. think coffee's anything. I think it's just right. liquid. And I don't drink it. Hard boiled Heather said, You're doing BBB and E in April. I wanna do it but need to get mentally prepared to break up with my keto chow creamy. We well, did a video where James did a breakup intro <laughs> with Keto chow creamy. Yeah, yeah, that was just a shake. Yeah, that was that was when we did carnivore. Oh, was it carnivore? Yeah, it was carnivore. Yeah. But you could go ahead and do like we did our second time around on beef butter bacon and eggs. We did we, BBB and E with keto chow. Yeah, with keto chow, yeah. and that was nice. So yeah. you can make it your challenge, whatever you want. Yeah, make it fit for you, for sure. Um. Kip is not going on the actual carnivore cruise, yeah. keto cruise. But I'm making my cruise a carnivore cruise in two weeks. There you go. There you go. You can do it. it. It's all available to you. I mean. Uh, Air Fry Annie said, Keto Simple offered help with He's editing. He's so sweet. I need to message him. Well, I'll, and, and a lot of it has to do with, too, like, are you Apple or are you PC? Right. Because, That's going to make a difference. Yeah, because I only know Apple. Right. And I'm not even good at it. <laughs> Hookah says no email, no Christmas card, and there was an issue with the gift the first time they tried to deliver it. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, Shauna says, my meat was made for my air fryer. I have a great cast iron grill pan That's awesome. that goes in it. Wow. There, That's awesome. There's more to this air fryer than I know about. And Shauna also said she has not tried moose either. Shauna said, named my second son, Kenton James. <laughs> Yay. He loves that. <laughs> a lot of people's never had moose. I think it's a good name, too. No moose. No moose. For Hyla. No moose. Um, yeah, Mary yeah. never had moose. Uh, John has had moose meat. Is says it's delicious. <laughs> I would try it. Um, Sherry says moose is the same as elk. I've never had elk. I've had elk jerky. You have? Yeah. I might have tried it, maybe from Jungle Gyms or something. Sally says didn't know you could eat moose. I honestly didn't either, Sally. I, I think they prefer you don't. <laughs> <laughs> they. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it says, I remember a time when I ate an entire container of pork belly. Yes, and I was so mad at him for that. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the things. We made a pork belly, everyone ate on it, and then there was like a big... We had a leftover container for like the next day, and now I ate it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went to the store and came back. It's like, where's the pork belly? Mm. Really? Yawning. Yeah, Noah the... likes pork belly. <laughs> Noah does. Noah likes to like totally attack the fridge when we're not looking. <laughs> He gets our leftovers. Yeah. John says, had a pork, pork shoulder tonight for dinner, and it was delicious. Yum. I like pork. Um, Noah says, we have a hundred people in the chat. Nah. In case you don't know, Noah is our son. Yeah. Not used to seeing him yeah. commenting in our lives. I know. I like it, though. But Noah. thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Jackie says you can eat anything. It, it may just, or may not kill you. Exactly. <laughs> um, Jennifer says, I thought I liked bear meat as a kid. It was at least <laughs> five years ago before I found out my uncle was pulling my leg. Five it was years. his own smokehouse bacon. <laughs> Hookah says 11 days, no potty. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll have to... <sighs> you have your own cabin and bathroom. I don't know. I mean, we've stayed in cabins in like Gatlinburg. Why can't you go? Like it doesn't. But there's I lots of people who can't. That's that way. I don't know. It's not that I don't want to. So that's it's it. It's just that's I, it. We have to make a statement. We have to prove a point. We can't come home until you poop. <laughs> I'm gonna be prepared. <laughs> Roxanne just said my husband didn't go for like 14 days when he went to Italy. See, there's, I'm not the only one. <laughs> it's just crazy. Jackie says <laughs> just, just drink the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pour the costume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 22 QCAS says Emily's poop story may have topped Jackie's <laughs> discussion about Jen's underwear. <laughs> Well, uh, Emily has told this on the channel before that she can't poop when she's out of town. So that's yeah. the reason I kind of brought it up. Yeah. Keto Palooza is when it was. Uh, Lori yeah, says, was eat, eat butter and bring Redmond salt. I can do that. On the cruise. Yeah. I can definitely do that. Just that I'm late. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> we, <laughs> we may or may not have been abducted and taken down to the basement. Yeah. <laughs> We made a little room to help with our our lives and interview videos, our, yeah. our weigh-in videos, and of course cooking videos. Well, all everything will be back as normal. Yeah, maybe. But our we lives, might change it up. Our lives. It's nice to have a little dedicated area where we can just walk down, sit yeah. down, turn the button on, room. and yes. <laughs> Heart said, "Air fryer steak is is so good. Three ninety six minutes flip and another six minutes. Make sure you season well." We're, we've got to try it again. For sure. Um, Kip says, I can't start BBB any until after I get back from my cruise. I oh. will extend my punishment. <laughs> well, you've been, you've been doing so you've well. You've been just doing pretty on, awesome just on Carnivore, though. Yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah. You do you. Yes. But if it was me, I would probably ride it out a little bit until I maybe I hit a stall. Yeah, it's a great and, tool. And then, yes, it is a tool. Or if mm -hmm. you, all of a sudden, like me, like upset stomach or thing like that, and right. then you want to really figure out cheese what Cheese is usually his issue. <laughs> 
but I loved you so much. <laughs> uh. <laughs> John said it's going to be his first time doing BB. Be my first BB, time. BB, triple B and E. Triple B and E. Wow. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to see how you like it. Jennifer Lucas says we're being held captive in Dr. Barry's barn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shauna says that I missed something that someone lose a fur baby. Yes. So yes Amanda heard... and Scott on Carnivorous Me. Yeah, but I hadn't seen anything about that. I hadn't so. seen anything either, but somebody had just said that. Maybe they posted something. Hmm. So definitely send them lots of, of love and prayers. For sure. Mary works third shift. Definitely having coffee. Yeah. On B&E. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Jess says, I've had elk sausage. It was good. Ah. I, I, I think I any meat. try it. I think any meat is potentially good in, in the way yeah. it's prepared. I personally don't like deer that much, but I love it in the form of right. bologna, sausage, jerky. Mm -hmm. But I don't like it in burger or steak. Yeah. Marnie Mack said, I was raised on moose meat. It needs fat added, usually. So it sounds like it's a lot probably similar to deer meat, maybe. Um, yeah, Shauna says, the Ninja Foodie Smart Air Fryer Grill Combo. That's what we should have bought. We should have. <laughs> and now we don't have any money to buy it. Again. I know. John said, I need to clean things up a bit, and I think bbb and &E will be just the right thing to do it. I agree. This week, I keep telling James, I feel like I've been all over the place this week. Because we usually, I mean, we usually keep things pretty simple, especially doing OMAD. Like, literally, burgers and bacon and eggs and maybe avocado or pickles or olives. I mean, it's pretty simple almost every day. So just throwing in a few things. Just as I can't go with people around. Is that what we're talking about? I have no clue. Am I close? Yeah, you're close. Yeah. Yes. So we're going. We're going. We're going to be gone for eleven days for the low carb cruise in June. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that's the longest we've ever been gone. And On em a trip. Emily yeah. can't go to the bathroom when we're not at home. She's <laughs> never been able to go to the bathroom. Anytime we go out of town, she can't go until we get back. Yeah. So it's kind of a like. We don't know if she's going to We just, don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if she's actually going to go with, like, go through with it and, like, go to the bathroom. <laughs> or if she's going to blow up. We have no idea. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting. And Bob said, if you're just arriving, the topic of tonight is Emily Poop. <laughs> 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 uh, I had no idea it was going there. <laughs> Sherry says, ask him to leave butter on your pillow <laughs> instead of mints. I wonder if they really would do that. <laughs> do they leave mints? I don't know, but that would be pretty cool. <laughs> uh. Yes, Lynn, we can leave the lights up and walk out. Yes. As a matter of fact, it's really cool because I have a remote <laughs> for the lights. You just hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lou says, my first time BBB and E and kind of scared. Oh, you'll, do, you'll do great. It's It makes everything so... Much more simple. All right. For Je sure. Jennifer Lucas says to get you a squatty pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hard boiled Heather. Mm. One of the best names ever. I know. We added bacon fat trimmings to our moose before we ground it up. It definitely needs fat. Okay, I'm in for BBB and E yes. in, in April. And uh, moose, is that, a, is that a ruminant animal? I, don't know. I would think so. I mean, if deer is, I would think moose is. And you can have deer meat on BBB and E. And elk. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Melanie's yeah. still I understand. In the um, a lot of our challenges, I have been completely up in the air and on the fence about. And I'm one of those people that when it pressure last minute, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> or if you just ask me at the right time, I might say, yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> Hearts misses the dogs drinking water. Oh. <laughs> uh, well. It yeah. never failed. I know. I know. All right. We have to go clean up dinner. Yeah. And yeah. And then. You guys, thank you so much for spending your evening with us. And then two crazy Love ketos are on at 830. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that this is a little bit better. Maybe, you know, sound and everything like mm. we're just trying to get better. 
I will say this. I'm not a big fan of the stools that we bought. They, they're kind of hurting my butt. Yeah. But we had to do what we did, and they were very... They were very inexpensive and they and were quick. Affordable. And they yeah. were affordable. Yes. So. It'll be fine. For Donna me. says, yes, moose are ruminant animals. There you go. All right, you guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Yes, thank you. Have a good night.